Hi, I'm here with two graduates from the Royal Danish Academy. Hi, my name is Maria and I just finished the master's. So did I and my name is Nina. <laughs> so congratulations on the show. It must be a very emotional experience um, and especially creating under these extraordinary circumstances. I'm wondering if you could share some of the hurdles that you and your friends and colleagues had to overcome to even get to this point because it wasn't possible to meet and access to shows, uh, Atelier, etc. Um, so I have to say that it, it definitely was a hard time for all of us because we were not allowed to the workshops and we had to figure out our ways and I think what's very important for our class we are really together and it was the, the communication that you're missing normally when you're at school and we, when you actually can uh, ask people for opinion so uh, I think this was the hardest part of not being together and then just grouping in different groups depending on how we could find and rent a studio uh, but we made sure to take walks and meet up every week to get motivation and i think that was the the biggest help for us i think i think we're we're really lucky to have like a really like close group of course mates this year like compared to like what i've experienced before like we've been very good at keeping our motivations up with each other and um, yeah community is so important and feedback um I think peer feedback, I've been hearing from students that really missed being able to um, talk with their friends. Totally, yeah. exactly. But um, I'm always curious about what started you on your journey. What what made you choose fashion as your way of communicating? Uh, I, mean, I think it's a, like a long road, but I think I, I was one of those kids who liked to just use their hands for stuff, especially artistic stuff, but it would be like clay and drawings, whatever. Um, then I had like one year of modeling before I started school and I was being a fitting model for all these different schools in London and I think that's kind of what spurred me on as well like you can actually be our fashion designer it's difficult but you can do it uh, and that's when I decided to apply for the world of camera. So. Yeah for me I always wanted to do something creative but I, I wasn't sure and then uh, I, I decided to move to Denmark to, to study so I just found the first school uh, I saw and I decided okay it's gonna be fashion and yeah I think it was just in my mind that not not necessarily fashion but I just wanted to do something with my hands and so we talk a lot about changes happening in the world obviously we're all coming to terms with COVID and new ways of living what changes do you want to see in the industry and how do you think that you can contribute to making those changes? Um, I think for a group of students who in each their way have tried to, in their collections, like communicate what we want to see change. So some have focused on like uh, feminism and some others have done like focused on this like uh, gender equality. Uh, and then a lot of students, actually most of them I would say, have used either like dead stock or repurposing like old, uh, old clothes. Um, a lot of like knitting and felting where you there's like minimum waste involved at all. Uh, so we have like many different takes on it, but we're I think we're as we are students and a generation that have grown up to know that we have to take responsibility for the environment. So it's it's visible somehow in like each of our collections. Uh, and I also think that the times also pushed us a bit to, to do something different. And uh, for example, normally we would have to do so many outfits and so much work. And I think also because because of the workshop and no access, I think people also changed a bit the direction of what's the requirement. And we actually don't need to produce so much. We can actually limit the amount and you don't need to have 12 outfits. You can actually have six and it's also going to be fine. And then you just squeeze the story in it. So I think it was quite a nice time also to start thinking of how to, how to transform the process of work, uh, not having so many possibilities as, as you normally do. And um, I hope we'll see you on that Copenhagen Fashion Week schedule coming up. <laughs> in, Thank you. We, we hope in so a too. soon time too. But it's such yeah. a pleasure to speak with you and congratulations to you all, too, to you both so of you and to well, all to, your classmates. I mean, it's maybe important to say yes. that we're here representing all yes. of our classmates sure. as well. The whole class. I think it was 15. Uh, 16. 16. Yes. 16. So thanks so much. You're so Thank welcome. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.